Want to learn how to rig a 2D game character in Unity the right way? Well, you're in the perfect place. I'm a level 2 Fiverr seller specializing in 2D game character rigging and animation with over 100 completed orders while keeping 5 star rating. In the past 5 years, I've rigged and animated more than a thousand characters for game developers worldwide. In this video, I'll teach you everything you need to know to rig a 2D character in Unity. Plus, I'll show you how to create idle and walk animations in the next video. And if you're interested in Spine 2D, stay tuned because that video is coming soon. Before we dive in, hit that subscribe button to support the channel. Let's get started. So first of all, I just cut it into different layers. As you can see in here, each and every body part is already separated into different layers. Uh, so I will just save this and I will bring this character PSB file inside Unity. So I have to save this character as PSB file first. Okay, now I will bring this character inside of Unity. To import the character, just simply drag and drop it inside Unity. Now let's move to rig it. Click over a sprite editor, a skinning editor. First of all, let's uh, introduce you with these buttons. This is to create any bones like this. And you can directly continue from this bone here. To make any bone as a child of any other bone, you can select that particular bone and you can start creating another bone and this bone is going to be a child of this bone so first of all let's create bones for this character and you can always access the sprites and bones in here in the visibility if you want to hide any sprite you can do that from here for now we don't need to hide anything i think everything is good so i'll just start creating the bone this is going to be my hip bone this is my chest bone and as this is a bot character i think we don't need of any neck bone i will directly create the head bone i think this bone can be placed in here as well to change the position of any bone you can click over this edit bone option and then you can change its position and rotation Again, click over this create bone. For the arms, select the chest bone and the arm bone is going to be the child of this chest bone. So let's create for the upper arm. This is going to be the lower arm. And this is the left hand. Same for the right arm. For the leg, we'll do the same but we'll select the base bone as the parent bone. Upper leg lower leg and feet let's check if the bone size is correct or not for upper leg it's correct for lower i think we can extend it a bit again click over this edit bone option and from here we just adjusted this one now let's create the bones for the right legs but don't click over this bone instead click over this base bone again and start so let's check again if the bone size are correct yes i think this is perfect we already have all the bones ready for this particular sprite i will add another bone in here just click over this chest bone again click over create bone and let's create another bone in here this bone will help us animate the backpack during idle animation. Click over apply for this bone. And let's uh, give all these bones their separated names as well. So just click over this bone and make sure you are clicking over this previous pose. And you will get this box in here and you can directly change the name from here. Base bone chest bone head bone
Well, after uh, renaming each bone, it's the time to attach this bone with every sprites. To do this, we are going to use a method called weight painting. Just click over this sprite and click over this bone in here and then you can directly come to this bone influence and click over this plus button. As you can see, the base bone is attached for the hip bone. Let's do the same for this chest bone. And let's do the same for all other bones. As this is a bot character, so we will not need to attach one bone's weight to another sprite. For example, in the lower left arm, we will not need to attach any weight of the left hand bone. But uh, as this is a tutorial, I will show you how we can do it, although this is a bot character. To do this, let's first of all create weights for each and every sprite. To do that, click over this sprite go over this auto aid option and click over generate and in this sprite the weight of this bone will be applied do same for other sprites click over this sprites and just click over generate and make sure to select this auto weight option unity does allow us with auto geometry option i will never recommend this option because uh, you will need to do many other works if you apply auto rigging. So manual rigging is the best. Click over this apply button after generating weight for each and every sprites. Now you can see each and every bones in here in the bone section. As we can see we didn't name this bone. So let's see this. Yes, this bone. This is the backpack bone. Hit apply again. As you can see, the character is already rigged. But there is an issue. For example, if I rotate this arm, we can see that there is a gap between in here. Now there is a simple way to solve this issue. Just click over this restore pose and then edit bone. Drag this bone to something like here. And this should fix the issue. Let's see. Yeah, this is quite fixed the issue, but this is not permanent. I'll show you how we can fix that too. The method I'm going to show you right now is going to help you in any kind of characters while you need to edit their weight paintings. Now what I will do, I will attach some of these bones weight in this particular sprite. To do that, click over this bone first then double click over this sprite and go to weight brush option from weight brush option you can increase or decrease the brush size from here and you can change the value of hardness from this slider i think something like 25 would be good and just click over this vertex while selecting this bone now let's see if this works a bit i think it is working quite well Click over this bone again. Let's click in here. Now let's see. And yeah, now it's perfect. I think we can reduce a bit weight from this particular vertex. To do that, let's bring it to 10. By pressing the control button and clicking the left mouse button will reduce the amount of hardness. Well, now it's looking quite good. For this I think I don't need to do anything. This hand is not going to rotate that much as well. But as I show you in this sprite, you can edit weight for any sprites like this. Let's check the leg as well. As you can see, this is looking pretty bad. Let's fix this. Click over this edit bone option and start editing it i think this is pretty good as this is a bot character so if you even separate the uh, sprites that will not even do any problem but 
for any character that is humanoid or any animal and meshes need to be attached to it each and every sprite for that particular characters you will need to apply the method i show you in here with the weight brush option to get the perfect result so this was how you can rig a character inside unity so let's see how this is working so as you can see each and every bone is working really fine in here well there is an issue with this bone the backpack is rotating with the head bone this is not what we want so i'll need to fix that first of all let's go to the sprite editor option the skinning editor take over this well i just uh, selected the wrong bone for this one to fix it click over this bone influence option click over this head bone and remove the head from here now again click over the backpack bone click over the plus icon and go to auto weights and click over the generate option and hit apply well this is going to fix the issue for us yeah the issue is fixed this is rotating with this and the chest bone and everything is fine right now so in this video you learn how you can rig a character inside of unity in the next video i will show you how you can add ik to this character and after that i will create another video to show you some basic example animations i'm a game developer and 2d animator with six years of experience and i'm sharing my experience with you in exchange i just want one thing from you and that is one subscribe Please subscribe to my channel and let's move to the next tutorial. Thank you so much.